I decided to try with okay, okay, now I found it. Uh, so I decided to try the um, the, uh, the 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 generating function thing, but okay. uh, I ended up I ended up having. A, a summation multiplied by a summation, and uh, then I, I I'm kind of stuck. So uh, I'm not sure if I if I got anything wrong or maybe uh, we can look at this question together. Yes, yes. The thing is, uh, why are you using generating function? This also can we can do homogeneous means that uh, equation thing, right? Characteristic equation. Yes, characteristic. I know. Yes, so I know, I know. But the the, the point because I remember you said. Um, Sometimes it is not so. The generating function method can work. Uh, the, there are occasions where the generating function will work, but the the homogeneous function, uh, th the homogeneous equation thing will not. So okay. I was just trying to see. Okay, uh, I I know how to solve this using homogeneous equation. How can I solve this using uh, the generating function? And of okay. course, I ran into problems. Yes. Okay, then we can try that. So let us write down. So a n minus. Yes. So, how are you using the generating function? So, AX. so uh, first, I try to I try to uh, arrange this into a, you know, the that that form. So, I first uh, line up. So there, there's a x, right? And then there's uh, yes. Yeah, so then there's uh, neg mine the uh, negative six x times a x. Okay. And then there's uh, not plus so plus nine x squared. Uh, wait, what, okay. Yes, yes. So um, this whole thing, uh, yes. if you add them together, so on the left hand side you get. Uh, yes, you tell. Hmm. Okay, so on the left hand side you get um, one. So so this whole thing is in a bracket. So one minus six x plus nine x squared. This whole thing times uh, cap a x. Right. On the right hand side, you have the first line is a zero plus a a one minus six a zero. This whole thing times x. Okay. Yes, and, and then starting from the second term, we can actually. We can we can just um, uh, simplify this whole thing into summation as r starts from two to infinity of a r minus six a r minus one plus nine a r minus two. This whole thing times uh, x power r. Okay. And because we know from the given the, the given condition this 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 thing in the in the in the in the summation form that 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 coefficient is just a zero so right. we are left with the right hand side we're just left with uh, a a zero is zero uh, so the right hand side is just um, a and a one is one so the right hand side is just x is that correct so far uh, yes uh, a zero is one minute zero a one is one. Yes. Okay. So we're left with this. So we can write a x as this this thing. Uh, and I've already managed to factor the the denominator. Uh, it's actually. Um, uh, it so it's it's actually one x um, yes yes that that thing okay now there is nothing to do you have done most of the thing now just series expansion right uh yes I, I guess I guess this is where this is where I run into run into problems so what I'm what I've been tr what I try to do is I try to split this into uh, two. Uh, two um, fractions multiplying each other. No, no, no. That is that will be difficult. Uh, if you try to do that way, it will be difficult. Directly expand this thing. So uh, we know this formula, right? So one by 
one plus a x uh, whole power two. So this we have a formula, right? Yes. So that you can use directly. So that will be helpful. Oh, 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 oh. Because uh, okay. multiplying two summations that is again uh, bringing us problem, right? That is difficult. Ah, uh, okay. I see. I see. Uh, can can you remind me of the the I guess the this uh this is no this is simple right so just without anything this is nothing but uh, means without the power two so that is from r equals to zero to infinity a x whole power r right oh, right and if you have uh, oh, oh oh okay, okay then you just differentiate so this is will be r equals to zero to infinity r plus one a x power Oh, okay, okay, okay. So actually, this is uh, not plus; it's minus. This is this one. Yes. Fine. Uh, I see. I see. And um, after that, okay. Just, 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 just make sure I get it. So now we have that. We return to the original, so that gives us. Um, so that gives us um, x. So so let's let's keep x for for the time being and keep one more line. So x times summation as r goes from zero to infinity huh. of. Uh, so so r here is three. So so two right? No two. R is r. R is the summation index. R is R. Okay, okay. R, R, R. R plus one and... Uh... Okay, and then we we place the R in... Uh, we place the, the X inside the the summation. Okay. Or, or sh should we do that? Yes, yes, because you want to find the coefficient of X for R, right? So that will translate the thing, right? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so the, we now have yes. Okay, this this thing. Uh, what now? Yes, now the coefficient of x bar. Uh, uh, so x bar n we want to find out, right? The coefficient of x bar n, right? Yes. So, but here, here's the thing. So we we have a, we have a x, x r x power r plus one. So it's like uh, it's it's shifted one position. Okay. So... Uh, but one thing. So before going there, the thing is you told a zero is zero, right? But in the question, a zero is two, right? Wait. Uh, so question two. Oh. 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 Okay. 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 It will okay. slightly change. It will not matter much, but let us do that. So it is uh, two plus uh, three minus I think uh, twelve, right? Three minus twelve is minus nine. Two. Oh, oh, I, I, I got it mixed up. So, so question. So, so the the initial conditions of question three. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's uh, a zero is two, a one is three, so that is three, uh, twelve. So that's two minus nine x, right? Two minus nine x. Yes. So then. Uh, yeah, that's why it is slightly changed. Now, now it will there, there will be two summation, uh, but it will be that is fine that you can do. Okay, so maybe. So from here, so we'll have two summations. I will just copy this one. Okay. So one is two. I 
Okay. Now we'll uh, bring uh, the nine x. We'll uh, bring it inside. It is two times three power r, r plus one, x power r minus. So nine times three power r times r plus one times x power of r plus one. After this is fine. Yes, so far so good. Right now we have to find the coefficient of x power n, right? Or x power r, same thing. So. Yes. So, what will you get? Um, so, you have to translate the second one, right? Because it is r plus one. We have to both make it both uh, r, right? Otherwise, we cannot do, right? Yes. So, translate it. Okay. I got something from. The, okay. This is this is, this is some trick I I I got from a book. Let, let's see if it works. So. Uh, you first. Yes, you tell shift. me. Shift. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Yes, you tell. I must listen. So, um, you you first minus. So so you move the um, the so the 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 initial uh the starting point of R yes. from zero to negative one. That right. way you get you you get x power R. And then uh, you just—I I forgot the second step. So, so you, I think you're supposed to add one thing to make it back to z r equals zero. Yes. Right? What I uh, so what I think uh, uh, what you're saying what you understood is so you are uh, tr making r translation to r minus one, right? First, yes. Yes. So let us do that. So we'll write the previous summation later. So if r goes to r minus one, this becomes r plus one. This becomes r, and this becomes x power r, right? Yes. So now we have x power r. So and the summation index is uh, same thing. So r is now just shifted from one to infinity, because r is going to r minus one. So r is r equals to r one, right? So this you understand what uh, I said? Oh, 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 oh! Yes, 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 yes. That's that's true. That's true. Yes. Right. So now, I guess now it's easy. We we can we can, well, we don't even have to change the the right side uh, the right summation anymore. We we can just make we can just break break apart the left summation. So make it yes, it's only one term. The, the first R equals term, to zero. Yes. So it's two, right? Uh, two plus one one. That's two times one times one times. Yes, that's that's two. Just two. Yes. So I think we can simplify a little bit more. Right. Okay. Yep. Um. Can we can we get the result directly from this, or do do, do we still need to shift it back to r equals zero? No, no, zero? directly, directly we can. Do. So uh, here, uh, three power r we can take common, right? And what is left is two r plus two minus three r uh, r plus one. Yeah, sorry, r plus one. Or or, or two, two r plus two after after you've broken down the bracket. Yes, yes. So yeah, two r plus two minus three r. So two minus. So r. that's two two minus r. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So this is the coefficient, right? So a n. Let us take write in a n. Usually the answers are in a n. So it's two minus n. Times three power n, right? Okay. So that uh, is just to, just, to, just to double check. Just to double check, we we don't we don't need to worry about that two hanging out there, right? We don't need uh, to worry about it. No, no, no. Uh, the thing is that is the thing we have to verify. So uh, means we, we, whether we want to give generalized uh, answer, right? So for n equals to zero, uh, if I substitute n equals to zero, still it is working, right? 
equals zero two two. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. So that's why it is not equal. So that is I can write that n is greater than equals to zero. This is my coefficient. My this is my solution. A n. I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. 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 Now I understood. Now I understood. Okay. Okay. Um. So. Any other problem? Uh, uh, sorry. Any other problem you tried? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, how about question eight? Eight, okay. So I guess the 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 very inter uh, what's what's interesting about this is um, I guess a few things I've I've noticed and I've I've, I've tried a little bit on my own. So one, um, there 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 are no initial conditions. So the first few terms. There, the, it's it's not enough for you to determine the, I guess the, the the coefficients that way. Okay. And and two, this is a. If if we try the homogeneous equation method, we okay. have a. Uh, well, what's this? Um. Co co it, it, this is called a tit. Qua quartic function, quartic uh, equation. Uh, yes, it's so power four, right? Degree four is the highest degree, right? Yes, po power four, power four. Yes. Um, as as far as I know, there there is a there is a general formula for, for this. The, yes, the, but that is uh, any... that is too difficult. I mean, that you don't need, I think, uh, for this thing. So I think usually, easily you can factorize uh, something. So what is the okay. characteristic equation? Tell me. Um. So that's x power four plus x power three minus three x power two minus five uh, x um, minus two equals zero. All right. So uh, easily uh, you can uh, factorize. I think so. The thing is, uh, you know, vanishing method, right? Uh, sorry. Uh, the the, the what method? Uh, vanishing method. There is something called. Va vanishing vanishing method right. okay I, I have to look it up after 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 class but yeah. um I'll, I'll just i'll just put it this way so i i went to this uh uh graphing website so basically you you put in uh you put in a function and it it, it prints out the it's it's graph on on, a, on okay. a 2d plane so uh we we already know there are two roots at least two real roots. It's uh, negative one and uh, plus two. Okay. But but the thing is, I guess this is this is what's bad about uh, looking at graph to find a solution is that I don't know if it's because there are two real roots that are fused together, or if there are if there are any um, imaginary roots out there. That, yes, that are yes, not the, the, yeah, that is the thing, right? So the thing is, you know, don't know the multiplicity, right? Yes. So, so we, we uh, I, I know at least there are two roots that are negative one and two. Yes, yes. So the thing is, uh, yes, that is uh, the vanishing method is uh, a second step method. But first, you have to guess the thing. So the thing is, uh, something. Uh, so the thing is, if you see the coefficients of uh, these coefficients, right? So these are all okay. negative, right? Mm -hmm. So if we add them up, so it is minus three, minus five, eight, then minus ten, right? So mm -hmm. if all of them remains negative, that is, uh, if all of the solutions remain negative, then these uh, things has to be very high, so that uh, these can cancel each other, right? Uh, sorry, sorry, say again, say again, say again. No, the thing is, uh, so if x is positive, so suppose some solution exists in uh, x greater than zero part, right? Mm -hmm. So then uh, this part always uh, remains negative, right? Because all the coefficients are negative, right? Yes, yes. So, uh, oh, so this... I, see, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yes, yes. Okay. So, that's why it has to be a bigger number. All right. So, at least one, two, that will not work. Right. Uh, on, other, on the other hand, if the x is uh, less than zero, then I know that this part will become positive. Right. Because negative of x is there. And this part will become negative. Mm -hmm. Right. So, one more observation what I have is so uh, this one. And this one. Okay. 
So this one changed uh, the sign. Sorry, sorry. The last one, the last one is x. So the last observation, the last note you tried to make is x power three and x power one. Yes, yes, x power three and x power one. This will change sign, right? Because of if x is less than zero. That's true. Yeah. Right. So now, uh, if I combine uh, this thing, uh, if I see these two things, what I have is uh, this is a minus, this becomes negative, and this becomes positive. So five plus one, that is four, right? Sorry, this is negative. This is what oh, you so five minus one. That oh, is oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, this, all this remains same. Uh, these even powers. So this is minus two, minus three is five, minus five. And this is one. The coefficient become again four, but negative four. So uh, 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 okay. So so you you mean again remain four. So the the previous one is um, plus four. three plus four. Okay. So if I take this one, so this becomes negative one, right? And this one it becomes okay. positive four. So this is, sorry, this is positive 5, this becomes positive 4, right? And if I take these coefficients, this is 1, this is minus 3 and minus 2. So this is negative 4, right? So these are alternative, co they, these are uh, cancelling each other. So that's why I can claim that x equals to minus 1 is a solution. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I, I I I can see why the oh oh you mean because because when x is wait uh, how how is that different from just plugging in a few I guess uh, ordinary usually usually working values to see if they work for 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 function. Yes, yes, that is uh, that is I uh, means uh, that is only what I am doing. But the thing is, I am just a little bit, a little bit uh, working it down. Means uh, I am I have to I have to work some bit less. If I see the coefficients properly, then I can guess the number directly. I don't have to see all the numbers. So if I, I uh, if I put x equals to one, then it is just the sum of the coefficients, right? That is not equals to zero. So one is not a solution. But if I put x equals to minus one, then it is just the alternate sum that should add up to zero. The alternate sum should be opposite. So that is what I is see. observation. I see. I see. Okay. 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 So now, uh, once we know that x equals to minus one is a uh, root, then how many multiplicity of minus one occurs? That how will you find out? Uh, to be honest, I don't think I've learned that before. So. Okay, so let me tell you that. So I know that at least one root is there, right? So uh, mm -hmm. since x equals to one, minus one is a solution, so x plus one is a factor, right? Mm -hmm. Right, factor of that polynomial, right? Oh, so using polynomial div division to see. No, if... no, polynomial division is very big. We don't have to use that much. We can do much simpler. So I'll show you that. Right. So I, I will do two, uh, two steps together. So x plus 1 is a factor, right? The first mm -hmm. term is x power 4. So I have to multiply with x cube, right? Mm -hmm. So x cube is adjusted. So next is again uh, minus 3x square. So here I have to minus uh, multiply with minus 3x, right? Oh, okay. Okay. So then okay. it will become minus 3x. Then adjustment is minus 2x and minus 2. So so from here I get x plus 1. So this is what I get. Uh, okay. So then we have... So if we plug in, plug in x equals negative 1, into the into the right factor we get we also get zero right right so one more so factor that, that means, okay 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 so, 
So x square. So since x square is extra, I have to adjust it, right? Then it is minus x, then minus two x minus two. Right. Now it is quadratic. Now I think you can find it. So I think this will also have one more minus one and one more thing that is three, I think you told, or two. What is the other, other root you told? Two, right? Uh, yes, the other root is two. Yes, so that is, I think this is x plus one. Right, so the whole thing is uh, the roots oh, are minus so, one. So x minus one power three. Right. I see. I see. Okay. I I guess even even with um, this this information, I'm not sure w w how how far we can go. I mean, we we can of course uh, do the uh, a n equals uh, capital a one uh, <laughs> negative one n power negative one power. N. Okay. Okay. You you know what? Let, let's let's write it. Write it out. So a n is uh, a one a, a cap a one. Let's say one. Mm. Uh, negative one negative one power n uh, plus cap a two n uh, negative one power n uh, cap a three n squared negative one power n plus b. Uh, let, let's use okay. b. Let's use b. Let's use b. Uh, B, uh, two power n. Right. Okay. This this thing. But we, we we don't we don't have any we don't have any initial conditions. Yes, uh, we can live like this because they have not given initial conditions. So this is our general solution. Okay. Okay. Because anyway, if they give initial condition, then you have to for, solve for a system of four equations and four variables. That is anyway difficult. I think you can live like this. Okay. 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 Um, so for um, do 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 we have to do casework here? That is uh. Uh, when n is even and when n is odd. Uh, no, why you want to do guesswork? No, because it's it's negative one power n. No, no, they're just asking you the general solution, right? You can live like this only. You don't have to do anything else. Wait, this is the solution. Yes, it is the solution. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, that 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 makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, yes. So, yes. Um, oh, oh, they said find a general solution. Okay. 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 Uh, I, I don't think this has a lot to do with uh, the. Okay. Uh, okay. Let, let me let me ask it this way. Could we have done this using the generating function method? The only function uh, it will be uh, we can do, but uh, the same thing will come. I think the same thing in the sense uh, the thing is uh, whatever the factorization we are doing here, uh, this uh, x plus one whole cube and so x plus one whole cube times x minus two. I think that is what we get, right? Uh, yes, yes. Right. Uh, so yes. the thing is, if you have observed, uh, I don't know whether you have observed it. So if I go back to this one, which we solved using the uh, generating uh, function. So here, uh, the characteristic equation was, uh, so if we see the characteristic equation, so that is x square minus 6x plus 3, right? So mm -hmm. this is nothing but x minus 3 whole square equals to 0, right? Right? Wait, wait is it 9? No, sorry, sorry, yes. This is 9, but I wrote the next line cut. Yes. Oh, y okay. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So x minus 3 whole square equals to 0, right? That's true. Mm -hmm. Right. So now, uh, if I uh, replace uh, x by uh, 1 by x, okay? Then uh, what I have is 1 minus uh, 3x whole square equals to 0, right? 
uh okay okay mm-hmm. right so uh, that is so that is uh, what i got uh, here the denominator that is actually the denominator because this is comes when i replace x by 1 minus x that is what comes as the multiplication of ax that goes into the denominator so this will this will uh, be some initial conditions that is fine that is anyway not affecting but only thing that is affecting is this one because you have to find the series expansion of this one so the term okay. which we have to find series expansion is comes from the characteristic equation by replacing x by 1 minus x okay i see i see okay. um okay. yes is this so is this uh, replacement always true yes this is always true right? because that is how we are adjusting right so this is this we are getting idea only because i am seeing this characteristic equation means this recurrence relation right? so that is a one to one connection between your characteristic equation and this what i am getting common here as a multiplication of ax so here uh, instead oh. of an uh, an i am replacing one instead of an minus 1 i am replacing 6x and here i am replacing 9x square so that is exactly opposite of what i am doing here right this is x square cx and 9 oh 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 okay 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 yes yes that's that's very clear that's very clear now. Okay. so you. that's okay. why it is fine so here also you will get an idea so here since this is the factorization the corresponding thing in the denominator will be nothing but so 1 minus x will be still 1 minus x uh, and this will be 1 minus 2x right so this will be in your denominator right okay, but the thing uh, yes but the thing is uh, the difficulty it will be here is this will be a product of two summations so that is uh, that is the difficulty because two type of things are there right so this has so 1 by 1 minus x whole cube this has one expression and 1 minus 1 by 2x so this has another expansion right so this you have to handle separately and anyway you don't have the initial conditions so that is also we cannot apply that's why also so generative oh. function we can apply because the initial conditions should be given i see i see i see okay 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 so so that's 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 question eight that's question eight all right um uh then uh there's question nine um okay i tried um question I, nine right? yes maybe maybe i um may, maybe i forgot how to do the the particular solution part i tried to do this using the homogeneous equation so may, maybe you can tell me what where 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 where, where things uh, went wrong okay. yes tell so so first um i guess we write it into the form uh so ha have all the a n or or related terms on the left hand side and uh, everything else on the right hand side so right hand side will just be negative three okay left hand side will be a n minus yeah. uh so we first uh, try to get the homogeneous equation right. uh, that that is just x that, that that's just x uh, equals yes a half one half right. okay um so, so the homogeneous so, so, homogeneous, so a a superscript h underscript a uh, subscript n is cap a times uh one over two power n all right yeah yeah okay so now um uh because on the right hand side the highest order is zero right we uh so i i thought okay take the um so so let let a a superscript p subscript n be um let, let's just say capital b 
Okay. So it's a, it's a constant. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, and since, uh, since, um, a N uh, since a P N right. or a N P is, is, uh, satisfies satisfies a n all right uh, we can write okay this is this is where i think i got confused what i what i wrote is uh a a times one over so so capital a sorry capital a okay uh capital a yes. uh, one over two power n minus uh -huh. um what uh what uh one half times b uh equals negative three uh, is this correct no 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 so the thing is uh so this is not correct so we have to replace uh only the particular solution right so we'll not use the homogeneous solution here so okay so from here what i'm getting is a and p So that is equals to minus. So I will replace. So this is what I get. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then what do you have? Uh, so then you have the. Uh, this uh, the particular solution is minus six. Then uh, how do you find the initial uh, using the initial condition? You have to find the uh, the whole thing, right? Yes. So so a n is nothing but uh, a n of h plus a n of p. So that is a capital A minus six. Yes. yes now uh, we. We have a zero equal to two times three plus three square root. All right. So uh, this is equal to. So two. So that is. Uh, yeah. Seems uh, six to the other side. Then it is two times of six plus six. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, um, so if we if we do this using the generating function, um, when will when will a zero show up? A zero will show up, right? So it it will show up like this, right? So when you when you adjusted the thing, right? So when you adjusted the thing, the summation you can use after a zero, right? A zero will appear like this as a single term. So there you can just oh, put it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. So these are the. I, I think these are more or less the questions that I, uh, or or rather rather not. Um, I I didn't try the other ones uh, first because I, I I was busy, but also because I don't think the um, uh, is it, it, is someone is a is a motorist going to and fro in. Uh, yes, yes, they are. I think they are cleaning something outside. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, so, sorry, it was just a little bit distracting. Yes, okay. yes, yeah. So, so I was trying to say, um, I did not try the later questions yet. 
yes. first because first because I was busy and uh, also because I'm not sure uh, if I can handle the you know the oscillating generating functions because I'm pretty sure they they, they will show up later. Okay. Um, but uh, before before anything, um, the uh, so so for the remaining time, maybe maybe we can look at the uh, at so this this whole thing started actually from page two six. No, maybe earlier, two 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 six four. So that goes all the way to so the um, they they want to say an an Andre was doing something. Yes. About, uh, and uh, then they laid out a few things, a, a few claims, and how to prove them. Okay. Uh, I looked at. Uh, sorry. Um, so that uh, oscillating uh, permutation that you are saying, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay, um, and uh, I think we went all the way to uh, claim two. I looked at claim three. I, I don't think I could have come up with this myself, but I, I think I can verify that this is this is this is true. This is fine. Okay. Uh, so, so the this uh, here we are seeing an example of uh, for application of exponential generating function, right? Uh, you mean you mean you mean the proof of claim three? Uh, no, no. I'm saying that uh, uh, here we are taking a x to be that exponential generating function. But till now, what you have saw, it was the ordinary generating function, right? So, if you mean the the capital a x right. in in claim three, y yes, this is this is the uh, exponential generating function. Uh, is, is, can can you say the later part? What what you said? No, no, that is one. No, I'm saying that uh, previously, what uh, till now, what examples or exercises what you did, we are only using the ordinary generating function, right? Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. That's that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, then. Um. So. The... I I guess uh I actually if we can go to. Page two six seven. Uh, two six seven. Okay. So, for example, the so the very the very second, no, the the third line of the proof. Claim three, right? Claim three, yes. Yes. So the third the third line of so so from the second to the third, uh. How, how how do they because the in the second line we have we have a we have an infinite series so so how did they um i guess break oh 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 okay 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 sorry 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 my my, my okay i i had a i had a brain we, we call this brain fart sorry 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 that that, that was that was that was not that, okay sorry uh so um so so okay i understand claim three and how they proved claim three so one plus the 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 what's it called the 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 the, the square the square of the generating function right. is the is the derivative of the generating function yes okay so that's that's claim three um but I, I guess because the book is take, uh, maybe maybe to you it it will be it will be clearer what they are trying the, the, the kind of groundwork they are they are laying in order to prove a later conclusion. But uh, uh, it, can they tell me what, what this this is for. So they they want this thing out here. Yes. So what you did till now is one plus x squared is uh, a a prime x. Right. That is the derivative. Right. Yes. So then claim for is uh, we are trying to find a bx, right? So bx, they are taking another one, such that uh, uh, ax times bx is b prime x, right? Uh, okay, okay. 
Uh, just to just to confirm, the the generating functions that we're talking about here, they they only apply to, so for example, claim three. That only applies to the to the to the specific exponential generating function in this question. It's not yes. it's not a general. Okay. No 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 not. Okay. Okay. No, okay. so because the okay. recurrence relation we're using, right? So six point nine point one and six point nine point two. So those things we're using, right? Six point nine point. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So similarly, 6.9.2 give you the coefficient bn, right? So from there, I am getting that, that capital Bx is a Janney function. So uh, that using that, uh, I am getting that Ax times Bx is actually uh, the derivative of Bx. Bn. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, in that case, I think. Um, so that calculation is fine. Uh, okay. So may maybe let let's look at uh, proof uh, proof of claim four. Yes. So the the first three lines there the, that that's fine. That's fine. I I I I, I don't have a problem with that. So. What what do they mean by the coefficient of this this whole thing in this expansion is? Yes. So the thing is, we want to uh, we want a closed form, right? We want to find the coefficient of uh, x power n minus one divided by n minus one because I want to uh, uh, tell that it is actually nothing but the coefficient of uh, b n, right? That is uh, b n. So then only that will equal equal to derivative of b x, right? Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Say, say again, say again, say again. Yes, so let me write down. So what I'm saying is, so bx is uh, summation k equals to 0 to infinity, bk, uh, x power k by k factor. So what is b derivative of x? So what will be the expansion? Uh, tell me. Mm. So it's only with regard to x, right? So we don't touch the the, yes, the factor. Yes, uh, only derivative with respect to x. K is uh, just k. So k plus one, x power k minus one. Uh, no, why k plus one? Only k, right? So... Oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Mix up with the uh, with the uh, with the. Uh, um, Denominator thing earlier. Yes. Sorry. So here we can run from the one to infinity because uh, the zero part gets vanished, right? That is the constant now. Mm -hmm. Right. So now if we adjust this one, so k and k factorial that will cancel, and I will have b k by k minus one factorial, right? Mm hmm. Okay, so now I apply the same translation. So if I apply k equals to k plus one, so the translation what I am applying is k goes to k plus one. And then what I have is k equals to zero to infinity b of k plus one x to the power k by k factor. Right? Okay. So the coefficient of uh, yeah, the coefficient of uh, uh, x power k by k factorial is bk plus 1, right? So if I want to tell that ax times bx uh, equals to this thing, so then I have to uh, match with the coefficients, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So I have to uh, show that uh, element wise or coefficient wise they are equal, right? That is what I want to show, right? Uh, so I see. the coefficient of x power n minus one divided by n minus one factorial. So that is Bn, right? Um. Right. Wait, this is. Um. This is this is Bn. 
Okay, this is BN, right? The coefficient of uh, because B derivative it gets shifted by one input, right? So, oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. So, so you mean um, uh, if we if we keep the uh, the the B prime x. The last, la last, we, we, if we, if we want to keep the the starting index, so we want to keep k. Uh, okay. okay. Sorry. If we want to keep k equals. Oh, 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 oh! Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, so basically, just changing, uh, k plus one to n. Right. Okay. 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 Do, do yes. we also have to change the, the 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 index that way? If if we do that. Yes, that is uh, fine. The thing is, uh, uh, that is the thing is one thing is that the index gets shifted by one because it is derivative, right? So if I take the uh, in the summation thing what they are doing, so if I find the coefficient of x power n minus one by n minus one in uh, your a x b x, that should be equal to b n, right? That is what I want to prove. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Because I the see. coefficient of uh, this thing is uh, bn in b prime x. So that is the equal I want to equate, right? But that comes again from that uh, reconciliation, that 1.9 point, whatever. Right? I think it is, the uh, equation number is yeah, 6.9.2. So from that I get that. Okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so we have. Okay, and, and then already they already did uh, AXBX. Okay. 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 okay, so, uh, well, I, I guess I couldn't have come up with this myself, but I, I, I can see why this is this is true for them. Yes, so they're actually uh, trying to relate the both of them, right? A and BN. So they want to relate. Hmm. Okay. Um, so, so that's 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 that, and also, um, uh, so after after the end of the proof for claim three or oh, claim four, sorry, claim four, um, they say the final task. So, so we're on page two six nine. Yes. Uh, uh, generating function ax and bx. So by claim three, they um, okay. So I I I kind of uh, for, forgot all the I guess all the all the things I used to memorize uh, in university. Uh, what is what is this? Th this this has to be something. Which one? Right. So, so that so so by claim three we have. Integral. Yes. That that whole thing. Yes. yes. So that is uh, coming from the claim three, right? Uh, so yes. Yes. That's that's from claim three. But um, what 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 which which uh tr trigonomet trigonometric function is this related to? Yes. yes. So this is uh, one by one plus x square dx. So this is uh, the integration is tan inverse x, right? This is the integration. Right? Oh, okay, okay. So from okay. here, what we are getting? So yeah, so a prime x, uh, one plus a x. So now, if I apply this integration rule and chain uh, chain rule, I get this one. Right? So this is dx is nothing but uh, tan inverse of a x. Right? I see. I see. I see. Uh, what, what do they have on the right side of the equation? Right side is uh, because a prime x is equal to 1 plus x, so this is equal to 1, right? So integration of 1 ds. That's why the equality is coming. So, oh, so oh, oh that, so, so that means 1. Okay. Right, right, right. That is 1. That's why okay. x plus c. So, yes, so it's uh, the time is almost up. It will get ended, the call. Okay. So okay. Maybe we can okay. Continue. Can you can you can you uh, give me a few questions you'd like me to?